So, seen that mask that's coming out? Yes, they so, look so good. All in boss adverts on the telly with yeah. all like boop, boop, boop. Oh, oh. It's so cool. Hey, is, isn't that, it's tonight, it's Halloween. It's tonight. Halloween, yeah, that's why I bought the mask. So I've got it. It's the big, got one. big giveaway. Man. I've got one as well. You got one too? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, oh, gonna be, I'm going to stick it on. Definitely. Nice. As soon as it comes on, we're definitely doing it. I don't know what the it. giveaway is. Oh, I reckon it's, I reckon it's prizes. Prizes <laughs> galore, it has to be. It's going to be a big, massive box of masks or something like that. It'll really be something that. It's on! It's on! Come on, Come on let's do it! Master. Come on, let's go! Yes! Mate, what's that? What is that? What's what? What's that? Halloween mask! It's the wrong movie! Ah, oh, shit! Hello TV stations? Yes, Tin Man. Doesn't matter. You need to turn off the TV sets. Turn off the TV stations. Turn on everything. You gotta turn them off. Don't ask me why. It's a matter of life and death. There's snakes and there's crickets and there's shit everywhere. Me mates on the floor. Just do it. That's it. Do it channel one. Keep going. Channel two. Keep turning them off. Channel three. Channel four. You gotta stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Oh, they're just constantly going on. How many channels are there? Hang on a minute. Lisa? Yeah? How many TV channels are there? It's about a thousand. Ah, oh, for f Welcome to Splatter Plastic. This is Halloween 3. Season of the Witch. Welcome to Splatter Plastic, the only horror vinyl soundtrack show on YouTube. With your hosts, Tim Mann. And Liam. It's Halloween! Halloween! <laughs> that time again! About time! Favourite time of the year. Best time Mine. of the year. The My veil favorite. has gone. The yeah. dead are coming. <laughs> they are here. They're watching us. The dead are surround us. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! As you can tell, it's Halloween, and if you're watching this tonight, it's Halloween, so it makes it even more special. He's wearing his Halloween shirt. I'm wearing my Halloween shirt. With it's Halloween! I can love Halloween. Absolutely, I love Halloween. You know when people say, um, Christmas soon, shut up! It's Halloween. It's Halloween first. It's fucking Halloween first, all right. So, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> It's Halloween, and we are doing the classic Season of the Witch. Yes, we are. Urgh. Now, we're doing it a little bit differently tonight. Yeah, yeah. We are doing things a little bit differently, so follow us. Hope you like it. Let us know what you think. We're just changing it around a little bit. Please do, because if you don't like it, we'll just go back to the original way that we were doing it. So no skin off our nose. We're just trying to streamline everything a little bit. We need some feedback to see what everyone thinks. Yeah. So, knock yourselves out, kids. Okay. So, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. 1982. <sighs> Seven years of age, man. Yeah. Seven yeah, years yeah, of age. Yeah, yeah. Directed by Tommy Lee Wallace. Scored by John Carpenter and Alan Howarth. Howarth. Little side note. Last Halloween movie that John Carpenter ever done. Before. Until. Yeah, before. <laughs> until. Before. Um, until. The 2018 sort of that one that one that you can't see because it's behind our logo yeah um 2018 reworking reimagining sequel whatever way you want to call it yeah it's the last one he did mm. yeah and he's done obviously he's done fucking loads of lovely shit but the last halloween yeah, yeah yeah so in a nutshell this film synopsis is um an evil plan by the owner of a mask, it sounds really fucking stupid. Um, the evil plan yeah, by the yeah. owner of a mask company by the name of Connell O. 
or Cochran, Cochran. Uh, played by Dan Henley to kill the children of America on Halloween night yeah. utilising masks mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, which he sells that have been impregnated <laughs> Madness, man. Um, it's been impregnated with a chip that reacts to a signal that's been sent out from a, st- a part of Stonehenge that was stolen. <laughs> stolen. That they have. <laughs> that was called the Blue Stone. And the plan oh. is eventually thwarted by Dan Chalice, played by Tom Atkins. Tom Atkins, man. He's the one of the Maniac best. Cop, Night of the Creeps. The Amazing. Fog. The Fog. Yeah. The Fog, of course. Thrill me, detective. Um, was it thwarted, though? Hmm. Well, we never know, really, do we? I don't think so. Nah. Anyway. Um, and is, shall we say, barely legal <laughs> girlfriend by the end of it. Um, Ellie Gumbridge, played by Stacey Nelkin, who investigated the disappearance yeah, yeah. of Ellie's dad. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The New York Times quoted it <laughs> as being, manages to be anti-children, anti-capitalism, anti-television... <laughs> And anti-Irish, all Ooh. at the same time. <laughs> yeah, if you're Irish, you're probably thinking, "Hey, hang on, it's hey. a little bit racist." Yeah, Irish, yeah. But it is 1982. There you go. That's how it was. But yeah, 1982 politics. Yeah, I don't want to get down that road. So yeah, it is. Now I've always loved this film right from the off. Uh, everyone, a lot, a lot of people hate it. A lot of people. A lot of people hate it and a lot of people love it. I I was one of the the formers. I hated it. See, that Fair surprises time. me. Nah, man. No way. I was one of them. Yeah? I was one of them. Michael Myers is in it. Bullshit. Yeah. You've got, Didn't... Big, you've got big long hair there. Have I? Was it? Oh, it's your beard. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there it is. The big hair. There it's you go. It's not like to come off my beard. It's not that long. No. Um, yeah. I, I, it pissed me off. Because he wasn't in it. Because he wasn't in it. It was a Halloween movie. I mean, like I say, this came out when I was seven. And you were well into it by that point. Well, I must, by the time I watched it, I must have watched it on TV when I was about, I don't know, 12 or something like that. And it, it pissed me off because it was just all about these stupid fucking masks and, yeah, you know, shitty snakes coming out. I wanted, I wanted Michael Myers. I wanted Halloween. It wasn't until older that Do you appreciate I it? actually love this movie. I loved it from from the get go. From the, from the get go, and obviously there was a, a long time where everyone hated it. Mm. Then there was a cool stage where people loved it. Oh, don't get me wrong, this is not a cool stage. I've just got no, to, no, you got yeah. to appreciate you, it. You've you know got to mean? appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if people just loved it because it was so well so well hated mm. or what. I don't know, but I've always loved it. It's kind of like the hipster mentality, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, nobody likes it, so I'm going to like it. Yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? exactly. I've loved it because apart from the first Halloween, I was. Sorry, but I was never a massive fan of Halloween 2. Really? Mm, yeah. Man, Don't know, really know it that well even now, to That's be honest. so good. Well, I can't wait till we do the episode on that. Yeah, definitely. Boy, on, on a Halloween night, obviously. Probably in all 20 years, because yeah. there's a million presents to get to. <laughs> oh, that's right. But I've loved it from the off. Just the fact that now Cochrane, I've said this before, yeah. he's the most evilest bad guy out there because he wants to kill the kids. Oh, of the kids. All the kids. All the kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, that's crazy. So, let's get down to the nitty gritty. What we're here for. Let's talk about the vinyl. So, mate. Cool. So, original pressed in 1982 by MCA Records. And it's the one. Oh, I love that cover. Yeah. But it's the iconic cover of Season of the Witch with yeah. the, the shadows. Are the kids going three of them going oh, down so over, cool. over the hill and the, the face with the drawn yeah. up yeah, oh yeah. I love that I want to get that tattooed on me somewhere oh. it's just, just the three kids with the, yeah. like the witches hats on and stuff like that so, so cool, cool man. really good image 2012 Death Watch re-released it now yes and they done a orange black split yeah they done an orange and black swirl they done an orange and black splatter. This last one was in 2014. And then they done a solid orange, which is what I've got. Let's have a look at this beast. So, this is the original 2014 version of it. That's the cover. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had a dramatic pause. <laughs> Go ahead. It makes sense. It doesn't it shit. No, it makes sense to be because if you look between the adverts, it does it. It doesn't. 
Does it not? No. There's okay. A, there's a there's a tale. Is there? Yeah. Pray tell me the tale. So I am going to read verbatim from the liner notes. So let me just show you a little bit of liner notes. So inside, not really special. Yeah, yeah. What have you? Liner notes. Uh, the artist that done this was a guy called Jay Shaw, if memory serves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and he wrote on this. <laughs> and I quit. This is this is long winded mate. Okay. Uh, when I sat down to create the cover for this release, I wanted not only to evoke the tone of the film and score, but to embed a piece of the movie into the art itself. Okay. Aside from the transmission imagery and the nineteen eighty two colour palette slash design aesthetic. There's a much more significant connection here. Okay. This is where it gets wiggity. <laughs> wiggity. <laughs> <laughs> the image is actually a photo I took at the scene of the end of the film where Chalice is screen, turn it off, stop it, into the telephone, while on the TV station is still playing Cochrane's evil broadcast. I opened the photo in a text editor, which produced a jumbled mass of random characters. Then I typed in the sequence eight more days till Halloween and resaved it as an image file. Once that image opens again, it looked like this. A scrambled single signal waiting to be decoded. Sorry, dude. You fucked around. With <laughs> You could have just had an image from the movie, but you took a picture of the movie. Scram- oh, I don't even understand what he done, but he come out with this. I don't quite understand that. Fucking either. mess. Mess. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't get it. Weird font as well. It was a weird font. I don't know. I don't know, but that's nice. I like that. I so do like that on the bottom. I like the back cover as well. It's now, I love the way the old um, Death Watch used yeah, to do these. Yeah, they used to put the things on. Yeah, they lived like, the, they were the same. The and that's, that's a um, spot, gloss, yeah. spot gloss picture, yeah, yeah. isn't it? That's nice. It is. A little bit of gumph. Back cover's better than the front cover. I love the Death Watch logo. Yeah, Death Watch logo. I've got it as a, a slip mat. I love it that much. Yeah. Yeah. But that's cool. cool. That's cool. And that's just that's no gatefold, is it? No, no, just a single press. What was the uh, what was the vinyl looking like on that Give one? Give us a minute, all right. Oh, get it out of there! Calm down, motherfucker. First thing first. Yes. Little hype sticker. Oh, Nothing too special. Bring it a bit closer. Yeah. Death Horse logo, that. Halloween three. Yeah, whatever. We collect them because we're nerds. Yeah. Come with a poster. Does it? Yeah. Of of the the diabolically shit art. The image. Yeah. Is that circle supposed to be the... I don't know what it is, mate. I love that. Well, no, because it wasn't from that part of the movie. No, I love love that part, because that's like playing in your town. Yeah. Like the old gig posters, weren't they? I think the best one that they've done for me was the Halloween serial. In in that. I like the Daily one. I'll count the one across. Well, there's loads. (laughs) There's loads. So, the actual vinyl, Mm. I got the Solid Orange. Nice. Put shit on it. And it is just solid orange. Very bright as well, it's, isn't it's, it? I really like it. I love the label. I love their label. Yeah, their label's cool. And it's not too overpowering. It's just yeah, nice just in the there. middle. This is Death Horse. This is Halloween 3. This is Side B. This is Side A. Not the special about it. No, but Just good. really nice. Yeah. Basic and good. Mm. Love it's it. Cool, nice. Really like it. So that was the 2014 press of it. But we're not talking about the 24. No, we're not talking about that one yes. mainly tonight. But we're sh- good to show it. Good to see it. Yeah. We are talking about the 2018 press, which mm. come in a menagerie yes, of colours. It did. So there was white and black blob, which was the skull version of it. There was green and orange splatter. Now. Now that's, a, that's, that's not. That's an exclusive. I yeah. think that was from like. Some horror con, some yeah, music. some some was it like horror fest weekend or something, or something like, like that. that. Yeah. There was that one. There Very was nice. the green and black, and there was the orange and black blob, which was the pumpkin one. Uh, yes, that was the 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 Mondo Limited. That one was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Um, that's the one. I don't know if it wasn't this one that you got with the box, was it? It was four and five that you got with the box. Yeah, this four was this five. was the first one after four yeah, and five. That's right. So. The art on this one mm. was done by a guy called Alan Hines. Yeah. Uh, we'll obviously we'll get it out. Actually, get it out now. We'll get it. We'll yeah. get it out here. We'll have it. We'll put it up as well, but you can get it. See it here now. There you go. Whoop. Love it. Hate it. <laughs> Fucking hate it. <laughs> I 
absolutely love it. Tell me why you love it. And I'll tell you why. Because it reminds me of early 80s Lucky Bags. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And it was all of that, like, cheesy Halloween imagery that you used to go to, like, the joke shop on, like, like the Saturday before Mm. by, like, your little chompy fangs and your dodgy vampire blood. Everything looked like this. Literally, like, them, like, widdly little... Little bugs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, jelly bugs and stuff. I just think it's so retro. Yeah. But so real. Mm. And the process of the art that he put into it. Yeah. He, he was totally channeling all this. Yeah, yeah. So he done this image and brought it to like a really shitty like photocopy shop. Yeah. And the photocopier in there had been like needed ink for like 10 years or something Is like that. Is that why you get yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. So oh. he photocopied his image on this shitty photocopier mm. and then started using the photocopies of, the, of, that, of one. that. So it looks really, really, 80s. really 80s and like just watch that retro and nice. Love it, man. Do you know you're, you're selling me? You're selling it a bit more for me Do now. You see what I mean? I can no. see what you, you mean, know what I mean now. Yeah. Imagine going yeah. into like the wizard's den when you were like seven or yeah. something like that yeah. to buy like them funky little fangs and yeah. so you can go on with your turnip and get your bin bag on and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It, it just does make more sense. Yeah, totally makes more mm. sense. The reason I don't like it is I was hoping for a a reimagining of the original cover mm. with the with the girls mm. or the the kids. On the mountain, yeah, yeah. The, that's what I was expecting, and I was just like, "Oh, what? No!" It was, oh, I, you know. But that with the whole, it does make it more, yeah. And it fits it make in. Sense. So like the Silver Shamrock novelties as well. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you when you open it up and have a look well, on the inside. Let's have a look at the back. Now I've it's half open because it takes. Yeah, it's a pain in the it's ass. It's a pain in the ass. There's a little flap there. It goes in there. The little flap. So 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 say it needs opening. There you go. We flip it open. Oh. You're not even going to get it on the screen. It's that big. We'll bring it down. It's just full of bugs. Literally full of bugs. Oh, and there's Gump on the left and right. Yeah, we've got um, Tommy Lee Wallace, who was the director, and yeah. Kim Newman. In 2014. Was, and Kim Newman's... He, he, was a, he was a thingy, wasn't he? He's just like a film critic type guy. Oh, was he? All right, yeah, okay. He loves all this horror stuff. There's a little little talk about the movie. That's nicely done. Mm. There's ni- the packaging... Okay, the image isn't my favourite, but the packaging itself... Spot on, and every single corner has got a little bit. Has got a little bit. They're jokes as well. So, so basically, because you won't have to see it. Okay, a. Uh, oh, sorry. Why did the witch give up fortune telling? Because she saw there wasn't any future in it. <laughs> now, if you want to know what the rest are, go and buy it. Yeah, man. There are, there's loads of this. There's, there's one yeah, on each side, apart tools. from your <clears> obvious. <throat> Halloween 3, Death Waltz, Season of the Witch, blah, 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 Alan Howarth. Oh, shit. That's what I forgot to say on the sides of this pan. Oh, all right. What's that one have? Let's go back. This Jump back. Go. Um, oh, my eyes. It's almost time, kids. Oh, I see, I prefer taken. that. Yeah, yeah, completely. So Put it's, the, it's the, the thing from the, the Silver Shamrock. Mm. It's amazing. So this packaging. Yes. Is hey. that the guy called Alan Hines? Also doing Fight Club and They Live. <coughs> you know the one did the, the Fight Club? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And the glasses. Yeah, yeah. Can you see where, where the packaging's coming in? You can see where the thing is, okay. yeah. Wasn't meant to be like this. No? He has a twisted idea okay. to do this. Yeah. Do you, do you know this? No, 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 I don't know. I'm right. literally... Tell me, I'm intrigued. I would have loved and hated this at the same time. Okay. So, he wanted to put insect attracting pheromone in the print link. What? Yeah, that was his original idea. What? That's nuts. Yeah, so okay. obviously, like, Season of the Witcher and all the, the, the yeah, same yeah. there's bugs everywhere. That evolved. Oh, my God. <laughs> he actually wanted to put insect larvae into the, the paper pulp no. of the record. So you'd have it on your shelf for, like, a couple of years, and then all the insects would start coming out of it. That's twisted. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. But I would not be happy about yeah. that, knowing that no. that one day would happen. That's, I don't think um, Death Waltz were very happy about <laughs> no. it. Too, often, yeah. But on a side note, for any of you death metal kids out there, it was nearly done. Oh, really? By another band. Oh, yeah. So there's a band called Nunslaughter wow. from Cleveland. Oh, fucking amazing. 
Yeah, yeah. Absolutely love Lord Slaughter. And they done a <laughs> split in 2008. So I don't know if he got the idea from Lord Slaughter for this. Oh, right. Split right. in 2008 called uh, Maggots, quite appropriately. Perfect. Um, it was Lord Slaughter and Mutilated Messiah. Right. Limited edition Die Hard 7 inch. Yeah. Come. Same Maggots thing. pressed in the vinyl. Really? And in the sleeve. Ew. Yeah. So Ew. you pulled it out and it just maggots fell out of it. Uh, and the, the, the actual vinyl had maggots pressed, pressed into it. it. I prefer it in the record because it wouldn't really escape, but in your cover. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's twisted. Amazing. Huh? Always on the look for <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Just because I want it. Just can't find it. No, no, no. Rare as chips. So, go on. So, back. wait. Back, so, back to what he does here. Actually, it's too early to show this, really. Huh? No, no, no. Okay. Silver Shamrock, the letter it gives you, give your customers a happy Halloween. Now, this is a trick. Do you know, do you have read it? I can't do it. You can't do it? I can't do it. I've tried. I haven't even read it. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically, it's um, basically, you get the instructions there, and in each set, I think everyone has the same, don't they? Yeah. You get the cards. Quality is amazing. They, I just haven't framed them yet, to be honest with you. But oh, no, they, they're, they're getting framed. They're getting framed. Yeah. Okay, so you've got your witch. Oops. You got your pumpkin. Nice. Uh, oh, 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 oh. That's the trick. That's the trick. <laughs> and there's your skull. Yep. Now you get, obviously, there's your three, but then you get the one with the... I don't understand how you do it. It's meant to be like, you can always guess which one it is. It says at the bottom here, this trick will not work twice on the same person. Yep. Make to Be sure to guard its secret well. And that's what I mean about the packaging of this one. It's, it's all, yeah, I mean, look at the cards, look at the uh, the artwork. It's just the, the, the artwork, the thought, the process of it, the, the Silver Shamrock novelties. It gives you a Silver Shamrock novelty. It does give you it. You know it. what I mean? It's, oh, it's fucking brilliant, I love it. Best hype sticker ever. I've ever seen. Yeah. That is amazing. Do you know what? That even would work... Well, that's how it comes, isn't it? That's how it came. Yeah, yeah. I wish that was on it. Yeah. That would look even better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rather than all the... The, the fact that it says Halloween 3 mm. in, like, in like fiery writing. Mm. Season of the Witch, record of novelty, suitable for children of all ages. Oh! It's I see just, what you did there! Yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's so good, man. Oh, yeah. Shock and amaze your friends. Oh. Spooky mind control trick. It's like the old eighties comics with like the X-ray specs and stuff like yeah, that in it. You know what I mean? Shocking the major sweaters with the X-ray specs. And another thing amazing about it is, is that isn't all of it. No, the record comes in its own sleeve. Yeah, and even that's got the same design on it. Yeah, amazing. It's I love it, man. Yeah, absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite records that I own. Now we both have one. Yeah, and we both have different colors. Mm -hmm. You do yours first. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got more the <laughs> Monzo exclusive because I'm a fucking nerd, and I thought because these on the Monzo exclusives of Halloween four and five. Yeah. To get the box. Yeah. I was on a mission. then, wasn't I? Yeah. Need the exclusives of each one. Exclusives. You got the exclusives of the whole box. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So, orange and black blob. Kind of looks a bit brown. A bit brown, but, but that's, because it, that's because it's in, yeah. in orange, yeah, yeah. isn't it? So, nothing really too special about that side. Yeah. Nice big blob. Track list in silver lighting. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. This is my favourite. Ah, what? And it's silver. Yeah. Silver oh, shamrock is it novelties. It's so cool. Novelties. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Silver shamrock novelties. It's amazing. What I love about. Any splatter, the reason why we do this show as well is no one will have that. No. The way that is... Every one of them is going to be different. different. And that's it's, beautiful. It's, it's not machine made. It's, no. That's like, it's not hand poured like the watch made stuff. Yeah. But it's human error in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. they look slightly similar, but... They'll never get to the same. They'll never get to the same. The cool. Beautiful orange. It's almost yeah. reminiscent of your orange from the press. I like breast. this orange because it's more of a pumpkin orange. That's more of a... A brighter Tangerine, orange. Yeah. Shall we say? Brighter orange. <laughs> orange. But yeah, it's gorgeous. So this is the pumpkin version of it. Like say, Mondo Limited. I don't know to how many, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I don't think it was that limited. Do you know what? Keep yours there. I'll get mine out as well. Right. Hey! <laughs> it was <laughs> so. I can't even remember which one you got. So I oh, got the green. Got the other one. I got the green so one. The I got the witch. Now, same again. Same label. 
the the blob is not as recognisable there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it is against the dark when the light. When you put it against the light, you can yeah, see you it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah. It's not really there. I really like that one. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Do you know what my one gripe about this entire package is, and I don't know whether you know this. Good. That bit. What bit? The I actual. Put, I put the record on. Ace, what track am I listening to? Oh, so many bands do that, though. So many, so many labels do that. No track listing. Yeah, there's no track listing. It's there. It's there. So I'm doing this. Yeah. Trying to yeah. look at the it's track. Like pain in the That's ass. That's a pain it is. in the ass, that is. Yeah. But yeah, apart from that, what a score. But again, it's all about. It's labels. all about, yeah. Yeah. To, you know I mean? to fuck a, with you. Yeah. See, how, now look how that pops there. You can't yeah. see it there, but he's got it resting down. And you can, it pops way more. Mm. I wonder if it's the same with mine. Let's have a go. No. <laughs> it's, just it's just green. It's just green. No. Because anyway. this one was the Mondo exclusive, I was dead set. If that sold out, I was getting That's that. the retail. Yeah, I yeah. I got that in well, H I, I, HMV. I was literally going to get that one. If, yeah. If that one so I don't out. know what the grey is. Just another. What do you mean? Not the grey, the clear. The clear. It's literally, it's clear with a black blob in oh no I mean as in which version is it if that's your exclusive that's your retail what's the silver they're clear as well no I mean which is, is it a um, is it an exclusive what is the other one this, this, the, the skull one yeah yeah it's just retail just another retail so you don't know which one you're getting oh so I could have easily got yeah, the clear yeah. oh <laughs> that's what I'm getting at get you now I never knew that yeah that's interesting to know so you put out the green and the and the skull. So it was literally retail. lucky look of the yeah. draw. They had one in the store. There was a guy on uh, Monzo Wax the other day, wasn't he? Saying, like, I've got three versions. How can I find out which one's which? That was it. Open them. Yeah, open them, mate. It's the only way you're going to know. to be played. Yeah, yeah. That's what pretty much people said. You know, keep them sealed. It's just... Nah, I, don't, I don't get it. Don't get it. Whatever. We'll go down that road. Yep. Yeah. So, so, so now we've done all the lovely artwork. Let's get into the nitty gritty shit in this. Tracks, mate. So, original 2012 version had 12 tracks. Yeah. 2018 version, mm. expanded score. Nice. Yeah, so it's got 22 tracks on it. I did not know there was a difference. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's nice to know. So there's loads more stuff on, yeah, on, yeah. on the, the, obviously, 2018 one. Um, what are your faves, dude? Well, my faves, I'll have to get the track listings out. Let me just get the record. Mm -hmm. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it around so we can see it. Okay, my favourites. Pretty pretty basic when it comes to the favourites, but that's what I like. For me, it's going to be the Halloween 3 season of the witch, the main... It says main title there, but it's the main, main theme. Yeah. As the lines are coming up on the screen, oh, making the shape of the pumpkin. so good. Apart, makes from, apart from the original Halloween favourite yeah. piece of music. Yeah. From a Halloween mm, ever. Definitely. It's definitely. just the way that it comes up with them bleeps. And it's, the, and it the pumpkin, builds. The pumpkin's getting formed. Yeah. It's oh, following them, isn't it? It's so good. And if, you, if you've if not seen it, if you've not heard it, mm. throw the movie on and you'll get what I mean. It's so... It follows it. Without trying to sound like all like, ooh, it's dead 80s. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because every, yeah. everyone's into the eighties now, Love so it. it's all dead analog, and everything's made up with just little lines. Yeah. Every time a line comes in, you're getting the beep. You, on, get, yeah. you get that beep. Go yeah. On. But I mean, so but good. even before that, you get the. Bing. Yeah. It just and starts. It's just, yeah. You know. You oh. just you drop that needle, yeah. and you know where you're at. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so good. It is amazing. That's one of my first favorites. Anyway, yeah. Couldn't agree with you more, mate. Um. Robot kills Gumbridge because that that main main was on me, yeah. Um, and the scene, the movie is fucking brilliant. So it's where um, Gumbridge has escaped from the robot. Yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and he and, and he gets to the gas station. Yeah. And the guy tells the guy what's going on. Yeah. And yeah. He's, he's all fucked up and whatever. So the the, the gas station attendant fella brings him into the hospital. The hospital yeah. Which I never found out is that. It's not in Haddonfield, this one, is it? It's all, it's... it's no, the only, the only... Uh, it's Pasadena, isn't it? I don't know, is I, it? I don't, I don't know. know. The only link to this is Halloween's on the telly. Yeah. Which makes nice. you know that's not in the same universe, then. In a way. Or is it? Mm. 
<laughs> oh, uh, controversial. So he gets brought into the hospital, into the hospital, um, and the the guy. It's really it's weird because mm. the, the 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 guy's going like, "Mum always told me to help people." That's not like, yeah. And he goes, "There ain't gonna be no trouble, Mister Mister." And it's like, why would there be? Nineteen eighty two, because yeah, nineteen eighty two, and there's cut and, and color. Well, yeah, it's it's, it's bad, it's but someone, yeah. someone's helping somebody out, mm. and it's like, what? Because 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 you're a black guy, you're like fucking. Oh, back then, yeah, probably. Beyond me. Which is which is so stupidly wrong, but yeah. He even starts running out of the hospital. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shame, too, man. Shame, man. Shame. <laughs> so I know it's a film, but you know what I mean? Shame. Offenses but, to Irish and blacks now. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. nuts, man. It's crazy, but... Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Chalice sorts him out, gets him into his little cubie, yeah. and he's sitting there with the mask, in he? Yeah, he's held on to it, yeah. The nurse comes in now. I'm a nurse. And she says the curse word for nurses. Okay. There's not much going on tonight. It's a little bit quiet. Oh, as soon as any nurse says <laughs> this shift is quiet, Boom. shit goes down and shit goes down. No, it does in this one. Oh, yeah. So the robot comes in and they're all like <laughs> walking in. And it looks like he's just going to punch him in the face, doesn't he? Yeah. And he goes... With his little fingers, Boah. right into the eyes. Yeah. Snaps his nose, pulls it right out, and goes like that. Start so in that way. Yeah. Oh, that's gruesome. It's amazing, man. Yeah. And all over this scene is this big brooding, mm. pulsing synth. Yeah. And it just, it, it, it's just literally just a stalking music. Yeah. And that's all it is. As soon as the fella comes in, as soon as the robot comes in, it's just going boom, boom. Yeah. Boom. And you get them big drums coming in. Oh, it's so good, man. So, Gumbridge is dead. And there's just this big, long pitch of a high note yeah. going on. And then, in typical John Carpenter fashion, mm. you start getting them keys yeah. coming in. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. And it just starts getting faster and faster and faster and Love faster. It. And it's pure Carpenter. Loads of low synth waves going over it. Um, repets the keys. And the scene, it, all, all of this, like, repetitive keys and these synth waves just going over it. And it just intensifies and intensifies and intensifies. And the robot gets in the car, pulls a tub of gasoline over himself. Boom! Yeah. End the track. Yeah. And it's just like, boom. Perfect. You're, you're done. Perfect. Yeah. Love it, man. And he's there looking at it. Yeah. The, the next day in the window, he's still looking he's at still it. still looking at it. He's looking at it. <laughs> Yeah. Still dead. Still dead. Still dead. Still not right. <laughs> but the guy, uh, the girl in the um, in the lab, has yeah. got all these like random bits of like cogs and wires and screws and yeah. stuff like that. And he's like, "Shit, there's another one. There's another freaking robot here. What's yeah, going yeah. on here? What's what, what's all these screws and wires and?" Oh, uh, 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 that's a good one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a shame. Well, she did nothing in a way. But yeah. Well, she did. She got. She was. She was getting onto them. Being, she was getting onto it slowly. Yeah, yeah. Clockwork army. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not terminated this mate. No, no. Next favorite, dude. Next favorite. I mean, there's, there's so many. Yeah. Arr, there's so many what do you do? You have gotta be chariots of pumpkins. Oh, that for me was mm. just like yes. It's it's John Carpenter at his best. Yeah. And now Alan Howarth. This is the first time they worked together. No, he he, he did was uh, number two, he's on the fog as well. Was in the fog, yeah, was he? Oh, One of my off. favourites. Yeah. Check out fog episode. Got that as well. No. Oh yeah, no, it's just. Oh, there's just too many. Mm. There's too many oh. bits, too many scenes. It's it's a score that a lot of people will say is better than the film. And I'm like, well, I'm I'm both. I I'm both. don't think it's better than the film. I think it accompanies the film perfectly. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Apart from two tracks. Oh god, what's your one is yours? The zombie hated ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll tell it you, is... man, I've got one that I just think, oh my god. There's no. Ellie Enters. Yeah. And South Corridor. South Corridor. It's just one <laughs> fucking, fucking drone. Drone. <laughs> And it just doesn't end. You're like, oh come on. Come on. Have you been to the co- through the corridor yet? Come on! Oh, I just oh, driving here. And that was on, and I was just going, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't the best. No. Elientis? Elientis is the, um, it's kind of like the, 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 the kind of love theme. Oh, right. Sort yeah, of yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, And it's, uh, 
It reminds me of that one in the fog. Yeah. The march is it what, to the lighthouse. The lighthouse. It's <laughs> 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 harking back to our first episode, man. Yeah. Oh, it great on me. That's it. It's the that same sort it. of that's thing. The, that's the thing. That is it. So my next favourite is Chalice Escapes. Oh yeah. And it's oh man, it's so good. It incorporates everything that is cool about this movie, mm. the scene and the music. So the the score itself is just a, a haunting, intense bass. Um, quintessential carpenter, slow bass with single key stabs. Yeah. And it just gets faster and faster and faster and until the long, inevitable, drawn out syndrome. Yeah, yeah. But the scene in the movie, mm. there it is, is which where which is the bit now. It's Cochran and he's trapped uh, Chalice. Yeah, he's, he's tied to the chair. Yes, he whacks the mask, the mask on him. Yeah, and he's <laughs> doing he all the, the mask on. There's a big close up on him. Yeah, and it's like the eyes of the mask are massive, and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's trying to get over. Yeah, he's just going. That's it. Yeah, just bouncing. Well, you would over. though, wouldn't you? You'd yeah. be like, oh, oh shit! Completely. You know what? You you've had the in, you've seen what's happened with the mask. Yeah, you've got a mask on and you're yeah, tied yeah. up, and the telly's on. Shit. Yeah, but the telly's not playing the adverts, is it? The telly's playing bloody Halloween. And oh yeah, a little bit on. In this score, it's playing the old score, because isn't it's it? Going, ding, 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 it, it ding, ding. It doesn't fit, ding, does it? Ding, ding. Does not like, fit. Yeah, but I was like, oh man, where's that? that that's Halloween. That's the original Halloween yeah, score. Yeah. Why isn't this on there? Because it works perfectly. Oh, on but, this record. Yeah, yeah. But hey ho, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm glad it's not, to be honest. Take yeah. you right as, as a music listening yeah. experience, it would take you right out of the film. Ah, uh, I think it'd be a little hark on back. I <laughs> think you'd be like, oh man. I'm back in Haddonfield. Then, um, then you'll stop and you'll put that one on. Mm? And then you'll go, oh shit, I didn't finish this one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got for me the best line of dialogue in this whole movie. Yeah. So it's where Cochran's um, talking about the festival. Yeah, yeah. You don't understand what Halloween is. Mm. Oh, it's so good, man. The festival is so in. That's it. Where the pills run red with the blood of animals, animals and, and children. children. And glad. He's evil, man. He's he, what yeah. evil bastard. He really is. Sick, mate. Absolutely yeah. twisted he is with this big block of stone wrench. Yeah. What happens to him at the end? He um, turns into Donald Trump and then explodes. Yeah. Right? So, if you... <laughs> it's weird. He's like, watch it again. Yeah. And that bit where it goes all like negative white. Yeah, like he, like he glows. It's fucking Donald Trump. <laughs> he turns. <laughs> get a still of it. And yeah, put yeah. It up. Mate, he turns into Donald Trump. Oh, I'll put it up. And he's just like... I'll put a comparison up. <laughs> stood there like big fat Trump face. That's mad. So all the all the, the, the electricity goes from the stone That's into right. the tellies, which and are all in a circle. And in a loop and it's spinning round. Yeah. That's right, yeah. So that's like generating the energy to go through the TV waves into the masks of the children. Yeah. To make them all melt and snakes come out of it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know Crazy how idea. Snakes. It's, 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 it's an Irish tradition from like Stonehenge, which is in Glastonbury. There's no snake, snakes anywhere. No. Why is the snakes coming out of these kids' heads? Do you know what? This is one of those con- one of those plot holes that you just ignore. Oh, completely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I think you have to. It's like that that uh, the woman in the, the hotel room. Yeah. Where she's fucking around, around, around with it. Fucking around with the chip. <laughs> and she just like opens her face like that, yeah. and a big. One bug comes out. Yeah, just one big... I don't even know what it is, man. It looks like Cockroach or something like that. Or something. Yeah. Fun fact, that was actually... What's his name's wife? His real wife. His then wife at the time. What's his name? What's his name? Tom... Tom Aikens. Yeah. Yeah. That was his then wife at the time. That was... That well, was I'm going to go out with her after, don't we? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally like that and it's yeah. like these girls that are getting botox in the mix man <laughs> so they all look like they they all bears having a a bear somewhere <laughs> evil bloodshot eyes Oof. yes so I've done two well I've done them two I've done the Halloween one and Chariots of Pumpkins I'm just going to shout out in fact that this has the advert track and I had no idea I still can't believe it and it's kind of slightly ruined it that it's London Bridge. Can't believe you never got onto it. I never got onto it in my life. Two more days to Halloween. No idea. My fair lady. I did have no idea. I just don't know why. I just did not guess it. But now I can't not hear that it is it. And it's a bit like, oh. It kind of ruins it. But there again, you've got the... 
in between, haven't you? It's um, <laughs> you kind of slowed it down, and then put extra bits on top, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it makes it a little bit different. Tommy Lee Wallace did the voice, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. yeah. And it's what, on the record. What voice is this? The um, it's <clears> time, kids. <throat> it's time, kids. <laughs> Don't forget your mess. <laughs> Don't forget the giveaway at night. <laughs> <laughs> Be in front of your TV sets for the horror, uh, horathon. Be inside your how. Be inside your turn. It's. Yeah. I think this is one of the epitomes of eighties horror. Yeah. You put that on anywhere. Yeah. Everyone will be like, "Too much is too Halloween, Halloween." Yeah, yeah. Halloween. It's your Batman logo, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. It, it's the Ghostbusters logo. You just stick it on. That and track it's, is it's, just. It's an audio logo for this movie. Yeah, definitely and is. Fuck me easy to use it. When you hear it, you picture the Shamrock. Mm. Because that's what it is. And the dancing kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the dancing heads left and right. Just going all upside down. Kills the kids. the kids. Yeah. This is the worst. Ba- I've yeah. said this before. He's the worst bad guy. Definitely is the worst bad guy. Couldn't I don't think worse. so. I don't think he's the worst bad guy. But he's got the most demented plan. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. he doesn't actually do anything. He's just corporation, isn't he? You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. he's got the most twisted ideas. Yeah. Mm. How the fuck did he get a stone from Stonehenge? <laughs> don't want to. That's just so... another plot hole. I can't. I don't want to go down that road. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Blue lights, animals out of a mask. Amazing um, kids' faces. Absolutely random. Anyway, random apart from that, movie. it's an it's an amazing film. My friend, this is a shout out for my mate Mike, uh, Mike Gungo. He knows. Oh yeah, from Gungo yeah, Podcast. From, yeah, he hates this film. Really? Absolutely. It always has done. Do you know what, though, mate? It's good that he does because he's not jumped onto this. No, no, free no. Bandwagon. No, he you never would. Mean? He never. He's, he's hated it from the off. But it's given us something to chat about for, bless you, for the last five years yeah. that we've known each other online. We've been chatting and I love it. Oh man, it's dog shit. It's just, it's, we've, we've, we've banged <laughs> it back and forth. So shout out to Mike, because he hates it and I love it. <laughs> if you don't listen to Grown Up, not Grown Old, because it's really good. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. Does the, are the, are the old press have the advert on it as well? Mm-hmm. It does, yeah? The same yeah. amount of times as this? No. It's just once. Just the once. Oh, so yeah. this one goes down in stages, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you you start off with like the two more days. Two more days. And one, one more day. day. And then it's the big giveaway. Piers TV Station 9. Big giveaway 9. Yeah, perfect. Massive fan of Halloween. Not a, not a massive on the Halloween 2, 4 and 5 scores. That's something that we're going to get into yeah. when we get down that road, which will be interesting, but... Aside from the new Halloween, which I absolutely love and you will love yeah, as well, completely. This is my go-to for next Halloween. Listen to. I go with two. You go with the two. original. Yeah. I mean, this and two are on par. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Cool. Um, depending on the mood I'm in, mm-hmm. I'll stick this on if I want right. to be a bit moody. I'll stick Halloween two on, but right, right. definitely two and three are for me the best. Okay. By a country mile. Yeah. Apart from the original. Apart from the, I was going to say, apart you know from the original, yeah. Take the original out because the original's just. So you basically iconic. got your trilogy of, of awesomeness, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really weird because this was not a Halloween movie. No, it was well. It never meant to be a Halloween movie. John Carpenter didn't want Michael Myers in it. He didn't want anything from the previous movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, spoilers. Number two, he dies. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, supposedly, but yeah, and Doesn't because because he, he's a, he's the man. The man he's, got, he's got it on him there. Look at that. He's got it in his skin. Good, good. Lad. He's a clone, man. He's a he's an embodiment of evil. He can well, put Michael Myers in anyone. Well, exactly. This this is the bad thing is was he was dead. They wanted to do this horror anthology. This is what I forgot to mention yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. Now I love the. I wish they. I the wish they carried. Yeah. yeah, the idea was Completely, amazing. Yeah. I've actually got an idea, which we've spoken about, about doing a horror anthology, our own movie. Ooh, more oh, more team picking. And I wish it kind of worked. Yeah. Because four and five, Halloween, Halloween four and five, even six, uh, seven. <laughs> I stop at five. You stop at five? Stop at five. I don't mind six, but it depends which version you're going to watch. That's another episode. 
we can't do an episode on that unfortunately because there's no <laughs> score for six they've only gone to five on the box haven't they anyway I would have loved it if they carried on every year a different Halloween story. It could have been huge. But people were so ingrained with Michael Myers. Because of Sidelander as well, man. You know what I mean? Do you know what would have been the best thing they could have ever done? Not call it Halloween 3. Yeah. Did just they just call it, it Season of the Witch? He wanted to. That's what it was called. Oh, where is it really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Originally, it was just meant to be called Season of the Witch. Right. And then, um, I think this was... Oh, I may be mistaken on this. I'm sorry I'm losing cool points. But I think this was the first one. No, it wasn't. It was four. It was the first one Mustafa Ark had. Yeah. Bought the rights to, wasn't it? I think he got he got them after. Yeah. He, yeah. After three, yeah, yeah. he bought the rights. Yeah. And that's when it turned into all the Thorn trilogy and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So this is just before that. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love it. I just love it now. I love it then. I would watched it for a long time. Watched it to do this episode. And it's like, yep. Yeah, I still love it. I've literally watched this five times this week. <laughs> I love it. It's one of their movies. You know what I mean? Do you know why as well you love it? Because Dean Cundy did the cinematography and his he's just he's just he's, he's top notch. Well, there's that. There's Tom Aikens. There's everything, yeah. Yeah. There's Ellie Gumbridge. Yeah. And a weird lingerie. Yeah. There's Mushmouth. There's oh, loads. Man, there's, there's so many the, things to it. It's the process of making the masks where you go into Cochrane's factory and these they're all there pouring all, oh, all, all the stuff in. Yeah. It's, it's amazing, man. Them original masks done by Don Post Studios. Amazing. 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 Iconic masks now. Yeah. Ah, totally iconic. One last thing that I, I totally didn't realise is when the, the town, the local the local bum, as mm. they say, was walking around going, oh, I'm going to burn the place yeah, to yeah. the ground. Yeah. He gets his head squished. He gets his head squ- you. Oh, squishing Fuck off, you, isn't it? Cochrane! Pulls it off as well, didn't yeah, yeah. he? Yeah. I was watching it and I know him. I know yeah, his face. Where's he from? And I know his voice. And I was like, I know it, I know it. And then it clicked. He is the, the colonel or the general or whatever in Return Living Dead. Christ, Ethel, I don't know. Is that him? Maybe we'll never find him. It's him? Well, I've got another one for you then. Ah. So, um, Gumbridge. Yeah. Ellie's dad. Yeah, yeah. Do you know who else he is? No, is he? Dr. Gruber from um, fucking Reanimator. Hans Gruber. The really? The eyes popping out. Is that him? Game. That's him. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. What a little horror family we've got going on here. <laughs> That's cool, man. Man. Excellent. Iconic 80s fucking scenes. And oh, yeah. All, all, the, all the 80s films there yeah. in one go. Talking Hall- of a movie. Halloween Absolutely 3. Absolutely loved it. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed us talking about this score, all the different versions there is there. Let us know if you love Halloween 3 as much as we do. Or if you hate it, I want to know. I want to know how well and how well it's loved and hated nowadays. Yeah. What would you rate the movie? Movie, I will give it a solid 9. Okay. Nice. Nice. And I will give the score. Yes. A big fat 10. Even with South Corridor? Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. I, I cool. don't mind it. It's, it's, it's an annoying noise. But it's part but, of the but whole... But it fits. It's part of the whole thing. Good, good. Myself, movie, I'd give it a solid 10. Okay. Because I've loved it f- from the off. All right. I'm not saying it again, but mm. I've loved it from the off for. I just fucking love it. Mm. I do. I, I, oh, everything about it, I love it. So it's a solid 10 for okay. me. Score? I don't know. About it. I don't know, to be honest. I, I, lo- I do love it. The oh, fuck, it's a 10. Yeah, man. It's a 10. Of course, it's a fucking Have 10. It not be it's a got 10. Silver Shamrock on it. Yeah, yeah. It's got Silver Shamrock. In the it's stages. got Charlie's Pumpkins. It's got that that. Beep, 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 beep. Do you know what? Brilliant. It's having a ten, even though I know the history behind this. I still, still don't, don't like, like that front cover. I'm sorry. I love the history behind it. I just don't like the front cover. Fair enough. But the packaging, everything about the packaging, absolutely spot on. This is still available, and it's just been reissued. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if yeah. anyone wants to get it and has seen what we've seen and thought, yeah. I think the the, the, the the exclusive one is still available. Yeah, they've well. brought them all yeah, back yeah. out, haven't they? So if you want the exclusive orange, go for it. Or whichever you know, one, the witch or whatever the clear, go for it. It's definitely worth it. Ooh. Can't recommend it enough, man. There Death you Rolls. go. You've done it again. Good job. Any shout outs, my friend? I've got two, mate. Yep. I've got a sad one. Oh, okay. It's empty, but. No, you, you need you need you need the beer. You need one one <laughs> sip for this, mate. Cut.
Got one. Okay. Okay. Sad one. Go. It's a sad one, mate. Yeah. An icon. Mm. I'm getting a little bit emotional. Oh, no, mate. It's, it's, it's proper got me. Oh. Um, Sid Haig. Yeah. One of the most iconic horror actors mm. from ever. He had such a story career. He did. Gone from the 60s, man. He was a fucking Batman villain. Was he? Yeah, he was, he was one of the... In the 66 um, Batman? Yeah. Mate. In the, in the TV series. I never knew that. He was a henchman for... I think it was the Ring Web, maybe. Oh, but some, yeah. some some Yeah, one. yeah. Um, all the 70s exploitation movies. Mm. Uh, 90s, he was in Jackie Brown. He was, he was the judge. And then, obviously... Oh. He was Captain Spalding. His most iconic role. Is it? it's so got you. Yeah, it's properly got me. Um, I've met him a couple of times at conventions, and a nicer man mm. you could not meet. Yeah, he was a genuine, genuine gentleman. Mm. He, I was paying for like an autograph, and he was like, "Who are you with?" I was like, "Oh, to my wife, Lisa." And she was, he was like, "Why are you stopping over there? Come over, talk to him." No do way. You want, what, do you want something to sign him? Do you want? Should we get a photo? And he was just like not worried about anything there was no stardom with him whatsoever we went to Spooky Empire one year and mm. um, me and Lisa were like it was in this big hotel sort of thing um, we were sat after the convention before like before the bevy and <laughs> oh, oh. we were sat having our dinner yeah. and Tom Savini walked over sat at the table next to us Yeah. Bill Mosley walked over sat with Tom Savini someone else come over and then said hey come over no way. And I was just sat there like that with my pint. I was just looking at this table of icons and said that he was the only one that turned down with. No. And I'm my fucking Sid Haig, man. Bless him. Bless him. He even said as well. Proper. That's got you, isn't it? Properly got me, mate. It's, oh, it's, mate. It, he's, he's just one of them actors, you know what I mean, that the characters that he portrayed were not only iconic mm. but inspirational for other actors oh yeah you know what I mean? yeah because he was later on as well yeah. he thought his career was over and when Rob got him in to do <laughs> Rob sounds like I know him <laughs> <laughs> when Rob Zombie got him in to do House of a Thousand Corpses he, he thanked him because he goes you reinvigorated my career he said yeah. that Yeah, I've, yeah. I've read an interview where he says that and he totally did and you know what in the later years he was starting to look a bit poorly. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, But everyone yeah, was saying, see. like, no, he's okay, he's okay. Yeah. And I watched Three From Hell the other night, and it was like, yeah. you went well. And if you haven't seen it. Three From Hell, it's very, very poignant movie. I'm sure anyone that's... Spo- spoilers. Spoilers, I, if you haven't I, seen Three From Hell and you don't want to know anymore... Stop watching. Fast forward three minutes. I don't know why I put up two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes fast forward three minutes you don't want to hear about this he gets executed in the beginning and the rest of the movie is there's loads of little bits to Cutter Dyer yeah. and how the characters are reacting to his death Yeah, and it's so fucking poignant right? because you can tell it's heartfelt and they did, it, he wasn't dead then right? Yeah, yeah. it just but now he is. It's like a future. It's like a remind, st- reminder me, reminder me type of thing. So fucking sad. Yeah. That's so sad. Shame. That's a shame. Bless him. Hey ho, another angel's got his wings. True, true. He'll never be forgotten. He has another one. Have a swig of that. Have a swig of that. Fucking Mr. Haig and your family condolences, man. Yeah. Got one more shout out. Okay. And it's to Halloween. To Halloween itself. To Halloween. The Festival of Samhain. Oh, not Mike. The 3,000 year old tradition. Not him. Not him. Where our houses were built from watering clay. (laughs) Yeah. And the bridge to the beyond (laughs) was down and the dead looked through our windows. (sighs) (laughs) Amazing. <laughs> the hills run red with the blood of the animals and the children <laughs> and you Tin Man 
will be our next sacrifice. Happily go ahead. Fucking go ahead. Halloween. Halloween. Love Halloween. We love Halloween. We do love Halloween. That's another reason why we do this show is we love horror. And Halloween is just like, we're like in line. You know in, in Fifth Element where she stands on the thing and, oh, and all the light comes out. That's us right Halloween's now. my Christmas, Mum. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It is our Christmas. Halloween. Halloween. We love Halloween. So we want everyone to have a great Halloween. Get trick-or-treating. Get some sweets. Get trick-or-treating. Get, get pissed and sacrifice. No, go, go trick-or-treating with the kids. I haven't got kids. No, no the, the people who have got kids have got to go trick-or-treating before Cochrane kills them all. Go to a cemetery, dig up a corpse. <laughs> oh, no, don't do, do, do that. Do some arcane no. rites with the dead. Oh. Until next time, stay tuned. Stay safe. Happy Halloween. Stay sick. SP. Out.